Hi friends, my name is Borro Dante, and this week we're painting the moment of supremacy. The idea is the following. There's a king who is an asshole, and he is like laying down, he fell down, because there's a dude next to it who is like some kind of a working poor man, or not even working, just completely poor dude, that had like enough of this king's bullshit, and he's like holding a sword next to his face. And everyone around is like losing their shit. Cause the king is like super powerful, he has a giant kingdom. It's like the biggest kingdom in this universe. And, and there's his throne and he fell down. And this poor dude is having his moment of supremacy. And there are of course a bunch of guards running next to him going like we're gonna fuck you up real hard for this shit, dude. So, there they are, somehow. I don't know, this is just the idea, not even a composition. Now, we need to see, this place will be like a place where the king was having his speech. And there's like a cool installation here with red carpet and shit and um, awesome throne. And right here we'll see the corner of the audience, a gigantic, far away, they're like in the uh, air perspective, they're far away, there's a lot of people in there. And there are like flags of the kingdom, kind of like a Quidditch stadium, something like that, but richer. Everything should be of iron and with beautiful hardcore red flags or something, I don't know. We'll have to figure this out. Now, the important part is... The expressions of these two, the guards are not really important, they just have to be there because that makes sense. So they will be like lit very strongly with the sunlight I guess. And what I really want to get in this image is the feeling of pure power and just an amazing epicness. And for that, I really want to create this giant scale of this stadium, plus the sky will actually expose space, there will be stars and stuff. So this is kind of a universe, which is sort of like a fantasy world, but with a strong feeling of space in there. There will be other planets visible out there as well, that's important to make this feeling. I don't want to have like a pure feeling of fantasy, we need to mix in something special in there. So yeah, I have no idea what this is gonna be. Let's start with a thumbnail. That's a cool technique that I forgot of. Here you are, the tiny frame. You're in my power. I'm having the moment of supremacy. Just a moment, I'll fuck up immediately. Okay, I wanna be closer to them. And this dude has like super straight pose, like that. Like, look at me. I'm the king now. I wonder where the crown of the king goes. It should be like on his head, but a bit falling off. And it's like a tall, cool crown, like over-exaggerated power symbol, stuff like that. And there are like more steps in there, and maybe even like the whole army we can see. But again, it will be just spots in the fog. And right there, there are like beautiful town, maybe, and the forest, and then some kind of floating island. Z. And all the planets that we see should be lower than this guy's head. This guy's head should be over everything. There's like a ring of asteroids around this planet. Why not? And there will be awesomely lit by the sun. So this guy is wearing like super old, dirty clothes, yet the sword should be awesome. It should shine with all the beautifulness of domination. <laughs> so the context of this story is basically like, it doesn't matter how much money and power you have, if you're an asshole, people will let you know. And of course this guy will have sort of a hint of desperate in his face, Yet at the same time he will be happy and he will feel the power of the moment. Because this is happening in front of everybody. And it doesn't matter what's gonna happen to the guy next, he made a statement. The power and the glory of the king is not infinite. That kind of stuff. 
So there are a bunch of people, like thousands of them. And the wind will go to the left. Why? Because this guy is gonna have some kind of extra clothing on him and it will flow away like this and the sun will be lighting up this area so it will look really cool play on the sun and the king will be somewhat in the shadow but there will still be a lot of light okay let's add a couple of guards in here just to figure out one is bigger because he's closer something like this I think I like it Although it's hard to tell with such a mess. Let's do a bit of a more precise sketch. Full screen. Hello, Nizumi. The face of the king should not be higher than the horizon. We should not look up to him. This is not the time. So like this, we're at his eye level for some reason. Maybe we'll make him a bit lower. Yeah, that would make more sense. So yeah, his head is gonna be somewhere around here. Yeah, and the length of the sword kinda implies that. That he will be here going like... Uh. Now let's build the throne. Something excessively wide. And tall. And those are the shit ton of steps. And this right here, this wide line that's going through the seat of the throne and on the ground, this is a long red carpet that goes up as well. I think that's gonna look kind of awesome. Now, the stadium, like the audience part, should be a bit closer, I think, because this is actually a gigantic distance. Some kind of forest in the background and some kind of buildings on this side. Couple of floating stuff. I think we should move it a bit away from the guy's head. Now let's try and build the main guys. This is gonna be a trip. Now this shoulder, it's important to make it not very raised. He's like going down on the dude. So the shoulder should be down as well. Mm. And the other hand should be kind of a bit raised up or like, I don't know, it's floating in the air. He's like, has an uplifted situation going on. So he's like dancing, kind of like Jack the Sparrow or something, I don't know. Kind of like this. Uh-huh. Okay, if the king is going to be even lower than initially we decided, then the arm with the sword should also point a lot lower. Because it's kind of hard to hold the sword exactly in the same direction as your hand. You have to do this a lot, because I fucking know everything about swords, of course. Should he have a magnificent Dominance boner. I think that would be too much. Okay, let's have a look from the distance because I've been building up Some kind of anatomy from the very close distance have no idea what the hell I'm doing I feel like his pelvis should be more in front, right? That would make the pose more expressive I kind of really love the way he's coming out I mean, this is just the basic geometry, but he's kind of cool. This is his house. And the wind is going around. Okay, this is uh, way going too far ahead with the clothing and stuff. Let's pose the king. Okay, let's see. This is a hard one. We might have to replace the dude as well a bit. So the sword is like heading into his neck, under his chin. This arm should be on the armrest, kind of like here. I hope it's possible to do that geometry-wise. This looks like a porn setup right now. Look at this pose. But yeah, he's gonna have like a king's dress. 
hanging down here, obviously. I don't know why I'm adding nipples, I guess it's very important. Now, let's think where the crown will be. It's not gonna be a cylinder, this is just the way I build the thing. <laughs> it looks kinda funny now. I think this one will be like the, the center, where it's supposed to be the center on his face. But it slipped off, and now he looks ridiculous. Now let's add a little bit of guards in the back, just to have everything in the shot. Now these guys are going to have some sort of cylinders on their heads. And that is a gigantic crowd. Two hours later, I'm just adding circles. Okay, let's add a planet, probably like here. Or should they be on one line, right? No, they shouldn't. No, they shouldn't. Now, the ring of asteroids around the planet itself. We're supposed to see it only as a straight line, right? There is no way it would be a bow. Loading, loading. Well, we're closer to horizon, that means there will be some kind of angle that we're looking at it. But the whole bow thing won't be really visible. It's almost a straight line. I don't know, the hairstyle. This dude, the king, he's probably supposed to be really old with a, some kind of goatee and completely bald with eggy head with very thin skin on the head. So yeah, we'll figure out the clothing and facial features later, next time. And for now, you just tell me what you think about the composition and the idea. Maybe you have something to add, maybe you have something to subtract. So yeah. This is the beginning of the moment of supremacy. And I thank you for watching if you did. I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Don't be an asshole. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Huh. The guy with the sword is left-handed. I knew I'd fuck up somehow. Well, I mean, it's not an actual mistake. Maybe everyone is left-handed on this planet.